Hi, I'm Mike from Uniclutch, and today we're shooting at the Napa Auto Tech Research Center in Canton, Ohio. The guys and I are going to be showing you how to set up your Uniclutch on two different vehicles, and they couldn't be any different. We have a 500 horsepower small block Chevy C1 Corvette and a brand new 2023 WRX. The Corvette will be receiving the Uniclutch Sport and the WRX the standard Uniclutch. This is my 1957 Corvette. I got this car in 2017, uh, inherited it from my dad. He purchased it in 1959. A GM executive had purchased this car for his wife and immediately started changing out the engine and taking it drag racing on the weekends. And so she told him it had to go. And my dad kind of did the same thing. He started modifying it right away. I have so many great memories with my dad, not only driving it, but building it and spending so much time in the garage with him. It just holds a special place in my heart and always will. It's uh, currently got a 350 small block Chevy, uh, aluminum heads, roller rockers, bigger cam, some other modifications, and makes about 480 horsepower. This thing had a centrifugal clutch in it, and I always felt that there was something a little bit wrong with it, a little bit of chatter. Also noticed some slippage in higher RPMs. Probably the worst thing and the thing that made me really want to change was a vibration at high RPM. I was very interested in the technology behind the unit clutch. I wanted to see if uh, it would get rid of the issues that I was having with my clutch. To start, let's make sure we have everything we need. For the C1 Corvette behind me, I have a 10-inch Uniclutch Sport rated at 800 foot-pounds of torque, the vehicle fitment kit, and a few basic tools that you already have. For the WRX, we have an 8-inch standard Uniclutch, which is rated to 550 foot-pounds. Inside the clutch box, we have instructions that guide us through in a few steps how to set up our Uniclutch. You will also need to scan the QR code on the inside of the box lid to get your vehicle-specific information sheet. Let's get to it. Step one is selecting the correct spline, which we can confirm by test fitting on the input shaft or by referring to the vehicle info sheet. Then I'll insert the spline into the clutch, securing it with the circlet. There's no need to align the clutch discs as they are already pre-aligned from the factory, saving us a bit of hassle. Next, I need to set the correct height. This can be found on the vehicle info sheet. I also need to add some Loctite to the bolts before I tighten them. 22 foot pounds. Now that my spline is in my clutch and secured to the flywheel mount, I'm ready to install my unit clutch to the flywheel. In this case, I'm installing to the factory flywheel, which we have previously inspected. As we're not using the flywheel as a friction surface, there's no need to machine it, saving on lift time and speeding up the installation. We don't even need to unbolt the flywheel or worry about replacing the flywheel bolts. The vehicle info sheet tells me the correct dowel holes to use. I will then be reusing the standard clutch cover bolts and torquing them to OE spec. Now that our unit clutch is installed, we can start putting the car back together. As you can see, unit clutch simplifies the job by not requiring alignment and most importantly, not needing to remove the flywheel for machining. Well, since we installed the new unit clutch, I've noticed that the pedal feel is much lighter than it was with the old centrifugal style clutch. Application is very smooth. The clutch doesn't chatter or make any noise. As a matter of fact, it's the quietest twin disc clutch that I've ever heard. The engagement point has a very smooth take up to the point where it actually engages. And once it does, it feels very solid and feels like it's gonna hold the power really well. I think the Uniclutch is good for any type of installation, whether it's a hot rod or OEM, you're gonna get the benefits of that dual disc clutch technology. As we saw on the Subaru, that clutch went in very quickly, very easily, and was a perfect replacement. For this, you know, it's gonna have a lot more holding power, and you saw the condition of that flywheel when we pulled it out. We uh, were able to utilize the technology of the Uniclutch to not have to resurface that. The clutch is adaptable, even if you don't have the best of parts already in there. 